This work is about change and it's about adaptation and I think maybe adaptation to fear and, and anxiety. I think the work embodies those qualities and it's about maybe somebody trying to uh, cope with that in different ways, different strategies. So adapting and um, throwing off bodies, throwing off skins, um, growing new skins, hybridizing, growing other layers. I really felt like I was learning about how fear gets transmitted between people in a way and that's why that's a grouping of three individuals and how things get exchanged or transmitted and I use the heart as kind of a way of expressing um, I would say maybe a kind of darkness or blockage or you know that's one of them their heart looks pretty good the other two <laughs> something's changing right something's been affected the body starts to tell you about <laughs> how you might be afraid of things or um, the impacts of some of those fears and I think I think that this artwork um, has helped me learn about those things. I was reading that fear paralyzes the circulation system and I and I thought well I also want to work with the human form the human body and I decided why not make a copper wire sculpture of the <laughs> circulation system so I, I did that and the heart powers the circulation system and I got to thinking that there's some kind of relationship between how the system works from the source and what is that source and what created that source or what impacts that source. So that's why there's kind of an exploration of hearts too, like how are we powered, what's powering us, what's kind of the, what's kind of the source of our energy, what's the quality of that energy, our interactions. These are objects but they have things about how they overlap in space. So I mean, I'm a spatial thinker and I hope to really push this into more room-sized installations. There's a lot of fear and anxiety, I feel, that's still in this work, but maybe, maybe what's happening is that the fear is maybe mutating or evolving into something where it may be better to look at the fear, to know about the fear, to integrate the fear. So I think a lot of these bodies and forms are about trying to adapt trying to grow and change and evolve where maybe the you can learn something from the fear or you're moving beyond the fear or you're integrating the fear. So I think there's I think there's a lot more going on about adaptation. Now some of these maybe the adaptations haven't been successful. There's something that feels thwarted or unnatural. But maybe some of them are um, you can't quite tell. There's these um, there's a lot of um, ambiguity about the change that's going on. I was very interested in, in the outdoors, uh, nature, the primordial. That interests me a great deal, and I think there's aspects of that in this work. But I've been working in my studio, actually, for quite a while um, to explore some ideas that I can't express in the landscape, that I can't express in the site. And I think these have to do with a kind of um, well, I've described them in the past as maybe a kind of trauma. And I think the landscapes that I've made really have to do with a kind of healing or recovery or contemplation. So I think it's really a kind of dialectic. And I think, you know, there's work I can't make and say the things I need to make in the landscape. And there's work that maybe that still interests me to make as, a, as an environment. And I actually view this sort of coming together in some new um, way that I can't quite foresee.